Well, it took extra innings, but the San Francisco Giants are one up on the Philadelphia Phillies in the championship. Philly had a 2-0 lead, but San Francisco chipped away to make it 2-2, and then in the first extra inning, it was a two-run homer, I guess, by San Francisco. But anyway, look at Philly, who only got four hits, two of them by Placido Blanco, who was actually a surprise starter at third base for David Bell and Mike Schmidt. Well, no, Schmidt was the H, wasn't he? Yeah, Schmidt was the H. So Polanco put a two-run homer in the third inning, and everyone's like, Billy has a way of it, because David Bell's pressing the Ashbury were triple, but that's it. Well, Barry Bonds. Well, after what he did in Florida, it's like Barry Bonds is just picking up something. He got three of the four RBIs, Monty Irvin the other one. Of course, Bonds went deep in the third inning to prove to everyone that he was a good hitter. Steve Carlton pitched three innings and then they decided to give Tyler Morrell the ball for the fourth and fifth. Not Tyler, not, no, uh, Tim Morrell, excuse me. And Morrell was the GOAT. Sean Estes went four innings and then they decided to give Wilhelm the ball. Who, he's been a dominant closer. Philly doesn't really have a dominant closer unlike San Francisco, so that could hurt. Giant, I, mean, I don't know how and I don't know why, but the Boston Red Sox came back from a 5 nothing deficit after one inning and scored the, the next 10 runs to make it 10-5. Seattle scored two in the fifth, but that was all they got as Boston wins 10-7. See the other red totals? Doubles by Ortiz, Drew, and Euclid. Garcia Parra and Fisk went deep once. Yes, Vremsky twice. Yes, Vremsky for RBS Ortiz with two. RBS Fisk with two. Nomar with one. Even though he made an error. Seattle? Ibanez with a double. Each and Griffey with a triple. Griffey Jr. with two RBS. Ibanez with two. There were rumors Griffey was going to be booted out for Eva or Jake Jr. But anyway, Bob, right boom with an RBI. Rosox. Cy Young didn't last the, the whole way. He ended up being replaced after giving up five hits without an out. Scott Williamson came in and even though he gave up a few runs, he got credit with the win, obviously. Javon Papelbon came in, he walked somebody, but he got out of the inning. And Seattle, Felix Hernandez was into for two and two third innings, gave up eight runs, and then Gordaro came in for two and a third to try to stop it. But Felix, King Felix is inexperienced with the lead. I'm shocked that Seattle ended up losing after taking a from Double A Stadium 3. It's the Phillies, it's the Giants. Game 2 of the NL Finals. The Giants are one up. And Carlo Hubble with the Hubble Space Telescope screwball. Trying to stop this team and Jimmy Rollins. Ground ball, that should be easy. The Giants, yes it is. Giants wearing their 1980s ultimate blacks. Phillies are wearing their Powder blue 1980 jersey. <laughs> and a ground ball to six. That's the short set for three. Just so count that one. So we're trying to go with David Bell today. <clears throat> and a fastball strike. Hubble known for his screw ball. So it's Christy Matheson, but anyway. And a very old match inside the line. That is a base hit. So Bobby Abreu is going for two. No, he's not. Oh, they got there. So here comes Howard. Screwball strike. Wow. <coughs> Screwball and this will stay foul. I think that was a little unnecessary. We're going to foul ball. To the Giants. Doing your job. Jim Bunning is fourth team pennant. Give Philly a big win. There's 
low names to be like. Purple shirt. Bunny has had a few new decisions. I'll have the one on one. Because he can see thousands to uh, before um, leaving the game. And he is going to pack one of these up. Of course, he's the five, three wins. Smiths, rising him in the lineup, but I think San Francis in, in a smaller ballpark they might need him, and they did. Taking Bill Terry out of the equation is out. Oh God! Wow. Giants on his back, especially against Florida in the last round. And he'll jump on in and face it center. We're going for the first line. But they held up. <laughs> Everybody could get the bar. Purple strike. And McCovey comes through with a signal. That's just for one that's going to score another. So Willie McCovey comes up with a pair of RBIs. You got the one. Sam Fran wants to go into Philly and sweep those Husky Phillies. Game 3 would be Kurt Schilling for the Phillies and Gaylord Perry for San Francisco. And out. But the Giants do put a pair of Out. Hopefully Wednesday night. Hopefully Wednesday night for baseball. They had to get, they played early yesterday. Rambo don't want to concede the run, but it's still two in game. He's rolling. Rambo. Oh, the Giants. The Phillies are trying everything. And I mean everything. Bell will fly out to shoot read stamps, and it will. So that means he gets another back. Good ball strike. Ken Hubble get himself out of this mess. And he will. Snip. Easy throw. Lead off triple. Nothing else. Hubble stays alert. keep Ken in the game because he could break the game open. Oh, that's it! Uh, it is deep! It is out of here! Oh man! Jeff Kent! Lovely! that back wall. Bunnings done for. Yeah, they gotta go. And a battle. The battle of Liverpool, 71 Giants. Tonight. Tomorrow. Well, they'll get one day of rest. Well, this could drop. Oh, what a catch. 
touched by bonds. What if played by bonds? Here's Ashford. He of the triple. That was supposed to get Philly back in the game after being down 2-0, but he got stranded after three quick outs. So we have a nice Friday afternoon, so they got a day off. Philly will get a day off to think about what they are doing before they go home at Sisman's Park. Is that late? Boston does run against Siena. And a pop-up that will do it. Game over. And a pesky win for the Giants. 7-1. to one. Phillies just had nothing. And except for bringing home right down the right field line, they had nothing. Three hits. Two of them by Abreu. And the other one was a triple by Mr. Ashburn. Giants. Nice job in the meat of the order. 7 RBIs. Kent with four, McCovey with two, Bonds with the other one, of course, Kent's grand slam in the third. Jim Budding stunk it up. Rare Cormier did very well in relief. Carl Hubble, he didn't strike anyone out, but you know what? His screw ball screwed up the Phillies and their frickin' timing. From Liv to Liv Park, it's a beautiful day to see the Boston Red Sox and the Seattle Mariners angle in this small ballpark. Freddie Garcia will pitch for the Mariners. They're trying to get back in the series. Boston up one game to nil. Daddy Damon will line out. Boston trying to take a 2 nothing seriously back to Fenway. There's no laugh. Purple strikes. That young had a no decision after giving up five runs in the first inning. It was a huge win for the um, Bull Sox after being down five nil. And a curveball for Garcia. Rick Mainring. What we do know is that the Giants look like they're going to take a trip to the World Series, they're up 2 nothing. best of 5, they go to Philadelphia for Game 3. Gaylor Perry will be trying to stab it. Sandwich something for the Giants. And Kurt Schilling is on the mound for Philly, so... Man, man, grab up, 5-3 on the scorecard. That's what's going to happen. So the Mariners trying to make a split. Well, welcome Thursday afternoon. Rocket Roger is pitching for Boston. That should give you some... Future Row will dunk a base hit. Game 3 is actually tomorrow night. It's the Friday night back in Boston. We will dump this base hit. In three, we'll see Tim Wakefield go against Blue Modell, so Boston really happy with Tim Wakefield for pitching three. You guys be thinking, Seattle loses this game in the trouble. Nice job by Edgar, but a late start. I'm actually stunned they didn't get the guy at third because he didn't move that fast. And here comes Griffin. Griffey will slide one, this will hit the center field wall and bounce around to those wall. And Junior with a big base hit. I know this ballpark is going to bite a lot of home runs, but we'll see. will put a base hit down. I think that's the plan, just keep getting singles. Chopper. 
Granios. One. Back to first double play. Great double play by the Bow Sox. Curve. So wing of this. And this is good and deep right. Look out, goodbye. Say goodbye to that one. Wade Boss. He doesn't hit too many home runs, but he sent a bomb to right field. Watch. And Garcia was like, I'm going to save this team. No, you won't. Not yet. It was Johnny. It took the number nine hitter to do something. And Johnny will spank a base hit in the center field for a hit. Yeah, it's so hard to believe Seattle had a 5 nothing lead. Lines it up. Lines it up. It's gone. Third attack. Green Tashikawa with a home run. Boston might be coming back on this one. Of course with that. Oh, well, that's that lazy fly ball out. Well, don't go away. This game is an over First and second. The Boston's got something wrong. Deep. But I guess the other need the home limbo. Boone, Griffey, and Aldridge. Lemons did okay, but it was the bullpen. Well, even though Hashikawa gave up that home run, JJ Hutch saved the day. Seattle is not out of this yet. Right. Well, it's official. Thanks to some great work by the San Francisco Giants. They have shocked everyone by sweeping the Philadelphia Phillies 2-1. So the Giants are going to the championship. But 10-2 record. In fact, they've won the last eight in a row. The BLA against two and three of their inner quarterfinals. They swept Florida and now they swept Philly. So they have an eight-game winning streak going in for this series. 2-1. They only got four hits. Two by Posey, one by Snow, one by Bonds. But in the end, it was Buster Posey's fifth inning home run that ends the game and a shocking win. Philly had six hits by comparison. Jimmy Rollins went deep in the third inning, but Philly could not believe their luck. Caleb Perry did well. Wilhelm did well. Kurt Schilling did well and then gave it to Worrell before Rich Williams came in for the fifth inning and gave up that home run to Posey. Well, a shocking result. But a big result for the Boston Red Sox is thanks to their bullpen and not Seattle's bullpen. 
They are now a win away from the championship season in San Francisco. As they won, Boston scored three in the third to take a three-nothing lead. Seattle scored four to make a four-three. Boston in the fifth inning won the game, tied the game, and then in the seventh they won the game. Thirteen hits for the Mariners. Oh, we got three of them. Our guys, Bloomquist, surprised everyone with two RBIs. Ibanez and Cameron, in our main doubles. Boston. Johnny Damon put two runs on the board for three RBIs. Big Poppy went deep in the fifth. Man Ram also got an RBI, so Johnny Damon the hero. So Rue Waldell went three in the third. And then Hashikawa came in. And it was 4-3 ready for J.J. Putt. Surprised they let Hudson, after he blew the save, they let him stay in the game. Boston used two pitchers, Tim Wakefield for three to thirds, and they went with Pavlon, who gave up, who stayed the rest of the way. Three and three innings, he gives up six hits, but no runs. So, man, I don't know how they... UCF campus in Spring Training Stadium. A lot of people want to see this game. And it's the Mariners, it's the Bo Sox. Game four. Boston wins. There is a championship. Pedro is going to try to lead Boston to the title. And he goes each. The leader's off. And each row will dunk a base hit. Compare this to the other Spring Training Stadium. Center field's 425, so. Even though no home runs were hit to center field. Boom. Lifts one down the line and left. I don't think it's going to be caught. Narrowly got caught. Boom. Ground ball. That's fair. And now they got to throw it to first. They all got the out there. What a job. Here's Edgar. Foul. Oh, off the mask of the catcher. Edgar, and a foul again. Pedro is big. Curveball got him. There's Grip. Pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up. Cut. Pedro does his job. He's it for Boston. <coughs> Mark Langston is your pitcher for Seattle. Throwing lefties against Boston. It didn't work last time. Because Boston ended up winning, albeit an extra inning. Four saver swing and a miss. So if Boston wins, they'll face San Francisco in the final. Strike. <coughs> and Dark Lowe will pitch against Seattle. He'll probably pitch game two against Warren Marischal at the Polo Grounds. Sinker got him. Here's Main Man. He lifts one to left. This is catchable. Turn strike. Man, Seattle loves the daytime. Bloomquist driven deep to left. Deep, deep. Fly away. That is the home run, Willie Bloomquist. It is the unsung hero of the Mariners. What a job. He got that pitch and he lifts it over the left field fence. Looks like we got a game five tomorrow, tonight. The Boston. 
Kayak seperti itu wah Cipta Pak John Home run Calvin Two no decisions. And Boggs will spank another hit. Now they're going to check on Langston. They were going to probably replace Thor. Thor and that's a hit. That will hit the wall. And the runner almost moves to... Oh, what a pl Oh, what a job! By Boggs, he goes to third on that one. He hesitated. So now we've got Putz and Hashikawa. And they're going to put Putz in. They want to close this up right now. There's Johnny. Oh! Thought he was going to get the hit. But no. No more. trying to get this win. Remember, he was the GOAT of Game 3. Curveball strike. I think this is a safe situation. And man, again, that's a base hit, and that'll make it 6-3. They're moving to third. <laughs> so, this is over. This isn't over yet. Big Poppy is the hero. Or he wants to be the hero. Seattle got, oh man, this would be, well, the pitching change was needed. Mark Weiss is 3 and 0 the first pitcher to do that. So, Seattle will have a certified good guy if they got through, but it might be all for naught in game 5, who knows. That 5 spot in the first inning, including Bloomquist's 3 run homer, that was actually the difference. Because you take that away, it'd be 3-3, three, three, and Boston and Seattle would go to extras. But Bloomquist, the hero, this guy has an uncanny knack for pulling something out of the hat. And he did. One is two, RBIs, Wilson, one RBI. Fisk went deep in the fifth. Well, Damon and Ramirez got RBIs. But Mark Langston was really putting everyone out to pasture. He did a good job. Touch, no save, but... Who cares, right? Pedro, not so much. Giving up that home run. John Lieber then gave up an insurance run to Seattle. We got a game five. From Double A Stadium One, it's the Bulls. It's the Mariners. Winner take all. Game five. Who would have thunk it that we see this matchup? JB Moyer starts. You saw his fellow lefty Mark Langston do well. Now he's going to try to do the same. Johnny Damon, curveball. Seattle was the home team for the first two games, so they technically. Okay, short. Jamie Moyer has thrown two big no decisions, so... 
and he throws a mean curveball. I think that's what they they got to do. Just keep ruining the timing. Don't give them any pitches. No way. Look at this. Look at change. Strike. I think that's what Moira needs to do. Just take the slow pitches. Ow! Uh oh! That hit girl hit hard, didn't it? It did. That's what that means. The Euclid comes up. Euclid? Will he drop one? Better be in the glove. The Euclid will play shortstop. I'm surprised they didn't bring Phil Miller in now. It's Man Ram. Man Ram will take a good pitch and slide in the center for a base hit. Here's Ortiz. Curveball strike. Game ones, uh, Cy Young take on Felix Martin Hernandez. And then Seattle boy in that 5 nothing lead. Battle. Oh, did that go off the, you know what? Roger Clemens then take, took on Freddy Garcia in game two, and Clemens proved that he wasn't as good as he used to be. So that, that's serious. Seattle, pretty light up. <coughs> They'll have to deal with Derek Lowe. The lasso, he's one and one. Where is he true? Turn about, oh, what a play, snag it. And serve it, nice job. Good food. Ground ball. Nice. Oh, nice dig. Will you close get him out? You close is in because guess if I put the foul off his foot, that means he has to be taken out. Who's Edgar? And Edgar! Oh! So close. I thought it hit the chalk. Well, he hit the big this time. Game three saw Tim Wakefield take on Ruben Waddell, and everyone thought, oh, well, Boston's got Tim Wakefield. He didn't get a decision, but they won the game in extra innings. Ripley to the wall. This will be a devil for Griffey. So can Griffey Jr. get him to help? First run? Nope. He thought he was going to get the first run in the game, but not yet. Griffey will race one. I think Seattle has all the momentum in the world. Wilson. Well, at least they'll stop this one. 
but she has put four on the board. That might be enough. Normally, that is enough. It's a base hit. That's one. Here comes one more. A good measure. Wow. Amazing how Boston was up two games to one, and all they had to do was win with Pedro Martinez, and they couldn't. Because he wasn't on the roof. They're gonna pinch it over. I thought they were gonna use Reynolds. Gooder off the glove. This will go to the corner and this will rattle. <coughs> A double for Buner off the bench. It's gotta be this good. I think when they got to this stadium in North Carolina, they were like, just hang loose. Come on, yes. That's one right. And fly away. It's out of here. deep to right field. I remember game four, he nearly had one, but it was well. Not this time. This ball right underneath Ortiz's glove. He said. deserves all the credit in the fucking world. But you know what? They didn't really need him. It was just the bats that were only getting up four hits. Seattle scored as many runs in the third inning as Boston had hit the whole game. Four hits. Ramirez, Ted, Boggs, and Jordan were the only ones to get hits off them. Nothing really that big. Mariners, everyone got a hit except for Allroot and Wilson, but they were replaced. Doubles by Griff, Ibanez, and Buner. Ibanez went deep. And Ibanez put up four RBIs. Edgar with two, Cameron with two, Buner and Aldridge each got an RBI. So, 
it wasn't just boom parts this time. Derek Lowe was pathetic. 21 ERA. Scott Williamson created over 3 earned runs, 27 ERA. Moyer struck out 6. That's all he needed to do was keep striking them out. And the Mariners are going to the finals against San Francisco. We'll tell you all the, the, the which stadiums will be there as soon as we can.